What's up everybody? So in this video we're going to be talking about prokaryotic cells. Essentially, in a nutshell, there are two categories of cells that you need to know about. One is prokaryotic cells and one is eukaryotic cells. So what are these two categories based off? So if you can kind of consider, a long time ago um, there was a common ancestor. All organisms originated from this common ancestor and over time it branched this uh, many different organisms started, started existing and they branched out into these three categories, these three domains. We can call it eukarya, archaea, and bacteria. And then obviously eukarya split into more, more branches and then archaea, more branches, bacteria its own branches, and it got more and more complex, right? But it all started from this common ancestor. So based off these first three big categories that comes from the common ancestor, we have two kinds of cells. Let me show you. So this one, eukarya, is going to be this category contains organisms that are all that all have eukaryotic cells and we're going to talk about eukaryotic cells in another video but for now um, organisms like plants and animals like me and you we have eukaryotic cells we are in this big category so all our cells are going to have are going to be considered eukaryotic um, now the other two categories can be classified into another category called category called prokaryotic, and we're going to talk about what this means. But this includes um, very small things like but like bacteria that we, that are in the air, things like that. Very small things. So eukarya is pretty much everything that you know, that tree, the plant, all these things. All these. This is the category you would be familiar with. So let me put these pictures. These are little bacteria, little archaea or whatever, little small cells. So let's talk about prokaryotic cells in this video. We're going to focus on this category, and in the next video, we'll talk about this one. So first of all, we know that both of these, eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells, have some things in common. So first, I want to address the common features to all cells, no matter if you are a um, eukaryotic cell or a prokaryotic cell. All cells have the following things, the following three things. All cells have a membrane. A membrane that separates everything from the inside of the cell to the outside of the cell, right? Kind of like a wall, like, like a barrier. We call this a plasma membrane. All cells have this. All cells have DNA. All cells have some sort of genetic information, DNA, right? These things, is your, this is your code, your info, um, instruction manual. This is the little molecule that tells your cell what to do, how to behave, how to replicate. Basically, it's the how-to how area, how to do things area. And then the cytoplasm is this little area here inside of the plasma membrane. So here's the membrane. On the inside, there's this fluid, this jelly-like substance called the cytoplasm. And this is kind of the, the area where everything happens in. All of the molecules are in here. All the reactions are happening in the cytoplasm. It's not just empty air or space. It's fluid. So these are, are the three key things that all cells have. Now, eukaryotic cells have its own unique things and prokaryotic cells have its own unique thing. So now we're going to go just to the prokary prokaryotic stuff. It's a bunch of stuff you got to know. So first, what, what's the deal of the name? Prokaryotic. Hmm, what does that mean? So we can break this word into kind of two, two parts. Pro, and this, doesn't, this pro doesn't mean professional or anything like that. It just means for, before. So pro is a prefix, which means before. So pro doing this, I did that. Mean pro means before. Then karyotic is a way means nucleus means nucleus. Karyotic means nucleus. So if you put it together, before nucleus. So it doesn't make that much sense. But what it really what they're trying to say with this name is that these are cells before the nucleus, meaning there's no nucleus. These kind of cells have no nucleus. It's it's, it's cells before the nucleus. These cells do not have nucleus. And you'll see this is different from. Uh, eukaryotic cells, which actually have a nucleus. So these cells do not have a nucleus, and don't worry, we'll get more clear on this. Um, but that's the principle. For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.